What's up guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to quite literally duplicate yourself and allow you to do double the amount of work that you can in a normal day. The reason I'm doing this video is because it's something I've done for myself recently and it's completely exploded my business. So today in this video we're going over some of my top outsourcing tips and exactly how to outsource to find somebody that will actually do just as good of a job as you do or better and basically leverage their time for your time. And no, this isn't gonna be anything like those normal outsourcing videos that you see, literally people just walking you through how to make a job listing on Upwork. That's not what this video is about because this is something that I had a problem with when I first started out and it's getting the right person. Getting the right person is the hardest thing about outsourcing and if you tried it before, it is so hard to find. So I wanna show you guys how to solve that problem in this video. I wanna make this video as short as possible, probably like five to 10 minutes so that I can be tense and save you guys time. So with that said, Let's jump right into it and go over the top outsourcing tips that I have. And the first one, of course, is duplicating yourself. The reason this is so important because this will explode your business. You need to teach other people how to do what you do in your business if you ever want to grow it because you can only do so much in the day. And this is literally leveraging other people's time to allow you to have more time to focus on what's going to generate your business more income rather than focusing on little things like doing work for your clients or whatever it may be. One of the huge things, one of the huge benefits about outsourcing too is you can leverage the currency differences in other countries. That's the great thing about starting an online business and having online virtual assistants is you can leverage the currency differences so that you can be paying somebody $7 an hour for a job in the United States that would normally be paying like $30, $40 an hour and still be getting the same quality of work done and it's an amazing thing. So like I said, the reason I'm making this video right now is to help people like I was in the past that were struggling to find the right person to outsource with because the people that I tried at first, they were all trash. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to get people that are actually good and at a good price because that is something that's very difficult to find and I don't see anybody else on YouTube sh actually showing you an effective way to do this. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. So first off, I'm also, I'm also going to be showing you guys exactly the process that I go through the people that I outsource with so you guys can get an inside scoop of what it actually looks like for somebody to outsource all of their work and what it looks like on a day to day basis. Now let me get into the top tip that I have and that is systematically testing different people. I'm actually going to skip the second one here. So how do you systematically test different people? This is how you really find the best people for the best price. This is the, by far the most important thing you have to do and this is something that I don't really see anybody teaching on YouTube. So my best recommendation for finding outsourcing people is Upwork. Do not use Fiverr for finding people. Fiverr is more for like one-time jobs here and there things. If you want somebody long-term, go with Upwork. And the reason I say Upwork compared to any of the others, yes, you can do any of the others. It doesn't matter. But I say Upwork because it is the largest one. So that means you have the most options to choose from. You have the most freelancers to choose from. When we have more people, that's more opportunities to be able to find the best person at the best price possible. So that's why I suggest using Upwork. Of course, I could walk you through how to post a new job and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not going to do that in this video because that's so easy to do. I don't need to waste your time with that. So how do you systematically test different people? The main way is give them a project with a set budget, um, give them a very simple project, give like 10 people, and I'm talking 10, you actually have to do 10, and I know that's gonna be expensive at first. It might cost you $200 to test 10 different people. Just give them a budget of $20, and tell them to do one task, all of them do the same task, and this is the thing you really have to do if you really wanna find the best person, and even though you're spending $200 now, the fact that you're doing this to be able to find the best, who's going to get the best results at the best price is, to, is going to save you an enormous amount of money and time in the future because once you find one person, you can use this person for literally everything you do. I have a virtual assistant now that does pretty much everything for me uh, and can do everything that I do and it's an absolutely amazing, allowed me to completely double my business and that's why it's so important to find the right people, people that are smart that actually want to learn from you and that's the thing too you don't want to go with somebody that already thinks they know everything you want to actually help this person bring them up so that you can actually teach them and make them even better person for working with you you don't want to just give them monetary gain you want to give them knowledge knowledgeable gain as well and they'll be very happy with that so think about other ways that you can help these people out other than monetarily but test different people out and just test a lot and you have to do the same thing just think of your, think of this as an experiment where you're testing like 10 different people that's the main thing that I want you guys to get out of this. You have to test different people to find the best. That's what you have to do. Test to find the best. So remember that phrase. And if you want, you, if you don't have a $200 budget, you can test between three, four different people. That's okay. Just test, always test between a couple different people because I can guarantee you 
it's going to be a big risk if you just try to test one person out at a time and always test on the same project because you can never know if somebody's going to be better or not if you test two different projects that are completely unrelated. So that makes no sense to do. Make sure you give them the same project to work on and just test it with different people. It's going to help you out enormously. Another option you can do is if you don't have a ton of money at the start, you can test two people at the beginning. Uh, you can test two people per project and kind of like do like a Hunger Games of virtual assistants. I know it sounds messed up, but it's the way it works, and that's how you find the best people. There's not really any way other way around it. Other main tip that I have is give as simple directions as possible. This is so important because you do not want to be wasting your time giving the most detailed descriptions ever in the amount of time that you could have just taken to do this yourself. You need to be able to give it the simplest job descriptions ever. Let me show you guys examples. These are actual documents that I use uh, with my personal assistant. And I don't really consider a personal assistant, to be honest with you guys. I consider more of a partner at this point um, because of the relationship that we've built. But this is the kind of things that I will write out. Um, okay, so this is actually the, not the right thing. So let me get you guys another one pulled up here. These are the directions. I give them daily directions. And I just type them up in a freaking Google document that we have sh shared with each other. And I will say, make YouTube ad for my course launch. Make landing page for my course pre-launch. In worst case scenario, if he gets confused, he'll call me up uh, or ask me a question. But you, he's kind of learned over time that he can, he knows how to do these things at this point. He knows that when I say something simple, he can kind of work out the kinks in there. And you need to give them simple directions because, like I said, you can't be wasting your time to do this yourself. And if they have questions, yes, you can do it. But you also should not be answering questions all day. You should be answering questions on a job not more than one time. Um, and if they're asking you questions all the time, it's either time to get a different one or you yourself, you need to stop responding because if you only respond once, they're only going to expect one response from now on. So they're not going to ask you a bunch of questions in the future. And then the last tip that I have that is enormous that will save you a huge amount of time is making how to videos. The reason this is so key is because once you have these videos made, you can show the same exact videos to any assistant or personal assistant that you get and basically train them from these videos and you don't have to spend any time personally one-on-one -on -one training them. So for example, if I'm making a Facebook ad or whatever you're doing in your business, I will record myself doing a video of a Facebook ad and I can use that for anybody that I hire from there on out. So think about when you're doing something in your business that could be duplicatable. If you think that, hey, if you ever think that, hey, somebody else could easily be doing this that I should, sit down, take a step back, Get a screen recorder. You can do OBS. It's a free screen recording software and record your screen before you start so that when you get a personal assistant, you already have these how to videos made and you can literally just send them the videos and then they will automatically know how to do it rather than you taking the time to explain them and personally teach them one-on-one uh, -on -one because one-on-one -on -one is an enormous time waster and you never really want to be doing that. So that is it. Those are my top outsourcing tips. This is how to hire a virtual assistant in the most efficient way possible. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. These are my best tips that I could give you based on somebody that's had experience now with it. And we'll kind of show you guys, this is kind of like what my, uh, my drive looks like as far as our personal assistant. I have all the things in here. I just share a Google Drive with them. I give them directions daily. I just put it in a Word, Word document. So my other assistant, uh, he does my videos, editing. I just message him on Facebook. I literally just send him the links to the videos and he, know what's the, he knows what to do. That's how simple and how streamlined we've gotten it down at this point. And yes, of course, at the beginning, you'll have to give him a little bit of directions extra. But over time, I literally just start, I just literally at this point, I just send him the videos and he just edits them. He already knows what to do. He's the man. He's the plug. And keep in mind, um, you should be treating these uh, assistants as as friends and as partners because they really are helping your business. Don't just treat them in a way that's like puts them down or anything like that because they truly are an asset to your business and you should be treating them the same way you'd be treating an employee if you had in person because that's how much they're helping your business. They deserve to be treated that way um, and I want to help them out as just as they, much as they want to help me out and they're going to want to help you more because of that. So treat them the right way and they'll do you good. Um, but with that said, I hope this saved you a ton of time. These are my top outsourcing tips on how to hire a virtual assistant and find them the fastest way possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about virtual assistants, comment them down below. And if you like this kind of content, you like this kind of video, make sure to hit the subscribe because I'm putting like content out like this all the time. How to grow your online marketing business or online business in general. I do kind of all online businesses. So with that said, if that this kind of content intrigues you, helps you out, then make sure you subscribe so you can get more of it. With that said, 
I'll see you guys next time.